we're going to ask Dan to bring Robert up. He had something to say. And then we'll have a little presentation. But uh, I just want to say that not everyone gets the opportunity to get their roses presented to them while they're still here and able to appreciate it. And, uh, and I love this music, and I love these musicians, and hopefully. Everyone loves what's happening. And in addition, I should say that, you know, this is an auspicious day here. This is very meaningful, and I'm mindful uh, with gratitude to talk about <clears throat> the people that brought this music to us. Yeah. So today, I'm thinking about Louis Armstrong. I'm thinking about Charlie Parker. I'm thinking about Duke Ellington. And I'm thinking about John Coltrane, oh, yeah. I'm thinking about Ornette Coleman, yeah. I'm thinking about Anthony Braxton, yeah. and the, these and so much, so many, many, many more people. And uh, this is time for my shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> if you visit robertbush.net, it's my website, which is the world according to Rob. And uh, <clears throat> there's an essay on it called Celebrating Black Genius which is something that I've hopefully worked for and achieved uh, every day since I started writing. Thank you all. jazz fans in the room that have listened to this music for, oh, about 35 years. Uh, know this next gentleman that's going to do a presentation. Um, we are so fortunate to have the Athenaeum Music and Arts Library in La Jolla in San Diego because it is the venerable place for jazz that brings in the best of the best, and we all have an opportunity to hear them because of this person. Please give a warm welcome to Dan Atkinson, the director of jazz. All right, thank you so much, Holly. I want to ask uh, uh, Holly Gilbert and Louis V to come up now, please. Um, some of you may may know that uh, Robert has been a member of a national organization called the Jazz Journalists Association. And this is what it says it is. These are the people who bring us into the music through their writing, through their empathy, and through their love of this art form. And one of the things that the JJA does every year is they scour the country looking for people to be given something called the Jazz Hero Award. And here in San Diego, Robert Bush has been the instigator and the creative mind behind this uh, and has, in past years, nominated each one of us up here tonight to be named Jazz Heroes of San Diego. So I know I can speak for Holly, Gilbert, and Louis V, and saying, Robert, you are our jazz hero. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Arlene DeMosco and I had the same idea 
which was to contact Howard Mandel, who's the president of the Jazz Journalists Association. He's a journalist based in Chicago, one of the top jazz writers in the nation. And uh, he wrote this beautiful letter that I'm going to read for you. Hope I can get through it for you, Robert. Um, the Jazz Journalists Association is pleased to confer upon Robert Bush a certificate of appreciation for writing supportive of jazz. Although he has proudly described himself as a jazz snob, <laughs> Robert, through his music-related efforts, has proved to be something else entirely. Far from bringing a persnickety elitist, he has worked as an advocate whose open ears and mind, clarity of description and analysis, enlightens readers of every level of experience and expertise about qualities of music that deepen their pleasure and understanding. Robert's inclusive taste and ongoing enthusiasm for new sounds exemplify the best qualities in music journalism. The sincerity and depth of his devotion is evident in his articles for platforms including All About Jazz, and publications such as the New York Jazz, New York City Jazz Record, Just Jazz Guitar Magazine, San Diego Troubadour, San Diego Reader, NBC San Diego, and San Diego City Beat. The JJA has happily published Robert's profiles of San Diego's jazz heroes, and he is one himself. In a post on his blog, The World According to Rob, he states, getting exposed to jazz was the single most ex important experience in my life, but it didn't come instantly or easily. The JJA, as well as Robert's friends in San Diego, and his readers worldwide, are glad he discovered jazz and grateful he stuck with it. With admiration for his sensitive ears and inquisitive spirit, the Jazz Journalists Association hails Robert Bush. Thanks to him for listening and putting what he has heard into words. That's Howard Mandel for you, Robert. We're going to take a very brief 10-minute break.